Hi and welcome back. In our previous video, we had done an arithmetic sequence where we were only given 2 out of 4 regarding the information. Today we are going to try a geometric sequence where we are also given only 2 out of 4. Let's take the following example. Right. Okay. Determine the first 3 terms in a geometric sequence if T7 is equal to 192 and T2 is equal to 6. So first of all they want the 3 terms, the first 3 terms. Second, they are telling us that it is a geometric sequence. If term 7 is equal to 192 and term 2 is equal to 6. Now the golden rule for sequences is that when you start you write your T N N A and in this case R. Once you've done that then the work is exactly the same like arithmetic. The next rule is we're going to write down the formula and substitute what we have. Number three we are going to use simultaneous equations to solve. Now let's start with T7. We have T N N A N R. Why am I working with R? Because R is a geometric sequence. It refers to ratio. Now we have that T N is equal to 192 and we have that N is equal to 7. Then we're going to term 2. We're going to write our T N N, A and R. T N is equal to 6, N is equal to 2, A and R we do not have. Now we're going to work with our standard formula. T N is equal to A times R to the power of N minus 1. Once we've filled in T N and N, we're going to use our formula and substitute the information we have. Now for the first but of information. We have that Tn is equal to 192. So we have 192 is equal to A times R to the power of 7 minus 1 which equals to 192 A times R to the power of 6. Now this equation or this simultaneous equation that comes up is usually a challenge. When you do not use it correctly, you end up with negative powers, you end up with very challenging simultaneous equations. So to solve that, the easiest way to do this is to make A the subject. If you always make A the subject, you will find the easiest simultaneous equation. If you do it any other way, you can solve it, but the simultaneous equation becomes challenging and that is a time eater in your matric exam and you don't have that privilege. Now, let's do the same thing with T2 is equal to 6. Let's substitute that information into the formula. So we're going to have 6 is equal to A times R to the power of 2 minus 1. So we would have A times R is equal to 6. A is equal to 6 over R again. Alright. Now, once you have that they are both equal to A. Simultaneous equations means we are going to substitute 6 over R into A. We now have 192 over r to the power of 6 is equal to 6 over r. Now we are going to cross multiply. If you are not familiar with this concept then you need to go to our video under common errors because this is a very common mistake and understand that section before attempting this. So we now have 192R is equal to 6R to the power of 6. If we divide by R and we divide by 6, we would have 
r to the power 5 is equal to 32. r would equal to 2. Now, from this level, once you've cross multiplied, that is your basic grade 10 work. If you are not okay with this, it means you are not familiar with your grade 10 work and you have to go and understand how to solve for x completely in grade 10 and grade 11. Now once we've solved for r, we need to go back and get a. Now we have that a is equal to 6 over r, which is equal to 6 over 2, therefore a is equal to 3. But you need to go back and check, did you answer the question? It says determine the first three terms. All we've done is we've got r and we've got a. We haven't yet answered the question. Now, if you go back, you know a is your term 1. So we know term 1 is 3. Because our common ratio is 2, term 2 is going to be 6 and term 3 is going to be 12. If you are not familiar or if you cannot do the first three terms at the speed, then all you have to do is know term 1 is a, term 2 is a times r, term 3 is a times r to the power of 2. I am simply substituting into the standard formula. I am substituting a which is 3, I am substituting r which is 2 and then in n I am substituting 1 to get 3. Then I'm substituting 2 and I get 6. Then I'm substituting 3 and I get 12. You can use it on your calculator and simply keep on going with the backspace and change the value of n. Sometimes if you are unsure it is better to go and do it in your calculator and get the correct answer. That way you would get, you would get the correct marks allocated to you. When you are unsure and you write the incorrect answers, remember you would be losing marks. Thank you for watching.